Do you want to give your microgreens a boost? Well, adding nutrients can do just that. Today, I'm going to show you an experiment where we compare three different hydroponic nutrients against our control group of just water. So stay tuned for more. What's up everyone? Today I have a hydroponic nutrient test for you guys using the crop Red Acre Cabbage. Six days ago, I planted each one of these trays with 20 grams of seed per tray. They all have the same setup and they all have cocoa coirs in their medium. They all had a three day waited period, plus they had two days blackout and we put these into light for one day. The reason why we put this into light for one day was because our medium was too wet and on that one day we did not add our specified nutrients. All we did was give them regular water. But today is the day that we're gonna begin giving them their nutrients. So let's go over that real quick. The first tray is going to be our water. This is going to act as our control group because there are no nutrients in that. So this one's gonna be basically the level to see how much better these ones could perform. Next, we have our ocean solution. We are very familiar with this. We use this all the time in our grow space and we have always seen really great results with it. Next to that, we have our master blend. So master blend is still a semi new one to us that we're still playing around with. And we're hoping that to see some great results on this, especially because we know that master blend tends to give better green color. So will it give these microgreens a better green color? Now on to our last tray, which is Maxi Grow. We've used Maxi Grow a few times, and in the past we did see better results with our ocean solution, but maybe Red Acre Cabbage is the crop for that nutrient. Now what I'm going to begin doing is I'm gonna give each one of these one cup of their specified nutrient, and we'll get these on the shelf, and in a few days I'll catch up with you guys and we'll see where we're at. Today is day eight of the Red Acre Cabbage nutrient test. And so far, I'm really not seeing that big of a difference, but it is still very early in this experiment. So hopefully soon we'll start seeing some more stuff happening. That's it for today, guys. Today is day 13 of our hydroponic nutrient experiment. Each one of these have been getting their specified nutrient for now seven days. And it is harvest day. So that means that we are gonna take a closer look at each one of these and see what we have going on. Starting over here on my left, we have our control group, which is our just plain filtered water. This tray looks really uniform and the growth is really good, but I am noticing that these cotyledons are rather small compared to our other groups. And there's not as much of a fluffy fullness around the tray. Our next tray is our ocean solution. This tray looks so good. The entire tray is super fluffy and we're actually starting to see the microgreens fall over. The color is really good. And overall, I'm just very impressed with how this one's looking. It looks the most uniform compared to everything else. And I think this one is gonna be a great tray once we get down to the roots. Next, we have our master blend. The master blend tray did perform very well. The one thing that I am kind of disappointed in is I expected to see maybe a little bit more green to this because we do know that with ocean solution, though we get really great uh, growth on it, we tend to see a lack of color. This is not that much different looking from this tray over here. They almost look identical to me, but maybe in the stem color, once we begin to harvest, we'll see more of a difference there. And onto our very last tray. This is our Maxi Grow. And Maxi Grow usually does pretty good in our space as well. And it honestly kind of just looks like the other two trays before it. I think it's really going to come down to looking further into the grow whenever we get to harvesting. Now that we've gone over each one of these, what I'm going to do off camera is I'm going to begin harvesting each one of these and we'll take a closer look at the stems and the weights. I just finished harvesting all four of the trays and I've turned off these two lights next to me. That way they don't mess with the coloration here. Now let's go over the weights real quick. The one that came in at the lowest weight was actually our water group. That was at 255 grams. The one that was next was our Maxi Grow, which was 299 grams. Then it was our Master Blend, which was at 323 grams. And our Ocean Solution came on top with 331 grams. 
our water was actually 44 grams lower than our lowest nutrient nutrient group that means that the overall winner for weight is our ocean solution and the one that came in at the least amount of weight was our water now what we're going to do is move into talking about the coloration here and see if there's any big differences that i believe are a big factor in this starting with our water group our water group does look really beautiful i will say that i do love the colors on this it has a nice dark purple here the white is really nice and the green is looking very lovely the only thing that i don't necessarily love about this is the cotyledons are very small compared to our other groups but nonetheless it really did put out a great product onto our ocean solution the ocean solution is a lot taller than our water group and i am noticing that the purple does cut off lower at the stem than our other groups do but it does have a really beautiful color and i am still very happy with this product over on to our master blend master blend does have a little bit slight it's not a whole lot but a slightly deeper green on the cotyledon the cotyledons are kind of a mixture of both of these in one and the coloration i do really like because that purple does go up that stem rather far which i i just really like that coloration <laughs> now on to our maxi grow our maxi grow really did put out a beautiful product I do like the coloration on both the leaves and the stem and the purple is up nice and high which is something that makes red acre cabbage such a beautiful crop is whenever you get such beautiful purple color tones which i think we achieved with that group i would have to say for overall coloration my favorite is a mix between these three i do believe that they all have really beautiful colors if i had to choose one I'm going to go with the maxi grow at the end. I just really love the purple tone that we're seeing here. Now on to one of the best parts about this, which is the taste test. I think I'm going to start actually on our nutrient side first, and we're going to start over here with the one that I thought had the best color, and we will see if it has good flavor. If I can get them apart, they're basically hugging onto each other and don't want to let go. It has a good crunch. The flavor's kind of lacking. Um, I expected a lot more of the brassica flavor right off the bat. To me, brassicas tend to taste kind of like an egg, like a hard boiled egg. And I did, really didn't get as much of a pungent flavor like I was expecting. It was rather weak and kind of disappointing in my opinion, but that's okay. We still got three more to try. So let's move on to our next one. Now we have our master blend. Ugh, got stuck. Oh, grabbing on to everyone. <laughs> I don't love it, but I don't hate it. But it was good. It did have more flavor than the one before it, but I'm still just slightly confused. <laughs> now on to our Ocean Solution. Remember, Ocean Solution was our highest yielding. Now let's see if it has the best flavor. Crunchy, juicy. Don't know what to do with my hands. Sorry. <laughs> I think the flavor is actually pretty good on that. I did enjoy that one. On the Ocean Solution Group, there was a little bit of that spicy hint which I guess I didn't notice on our first group. Maybe it was just really faint for me, or maybe I just got a group that didn't have that. But I do think that the flavor on the Ocean Solution was actually really nice. I enjoyed that. Now let's go on to our water group. Water was our lowest yielding group. I don't know if it was just me, but the water group had a lot of flavor like that really just pow kicked me in the tongue and was like here we are with that red acre cabbage that was really really pleasant actually so even though the water group did give us lowest yield i feel like it did pack the most flavor out of all three groups well that concludes this test I think that this turned out perfectly and even though water was our winner in flavor the <laughs> maxi grow was our winner in appearance and ocean solution was our winner in weight i'm gonna have to say that the overall winner for me would have been the ocean solution 
if I just harvest this a little bit sooner, I'm gonna get about the same flavor as I did with the water group. So I think that that one provided the best outcome for me. I had a lot of fun doing this experiment with you guys and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. So if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you dislike it, give it a thumbs down. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. We also have a Facebook and an Instagram. They're both at On The Grow Farms. And we have a website that we're gonna be updating very soon, which is www.onthegrow.net. Have a great day and keep on believing.